Welcome everybody to Cloud Innovators and Telecommunications. We're really excited to have Thomas from BT Group with us today. Thomas, welcome. Hi, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, could you tell us a little bit about your role at BT Group and kind of what you're doing yes, here? Uh, yes, I can. So, well, I'm Thomas, uh, Thomas Duque. Uh, I'm the Chief Operating Officer uh, for Digital, our Digital Division in, in BT Group. And, and in that role, um, it's quite broad. It goes from digital strategy uh, all the way uh, to, to delivering transformation and, and the modernization. Um, uh, but one of the core parts of my role is also to nurture and develop uh, relationships and partnerships such as the ones we have with, uh, with you guys, uh, with Google, and, and, and make this a partnership that is 360, that is uh, uh, not just you know, like buying from each other, but also looking to create joint value. Well, s solving problems is really what it's all about. Yeah. What are some of the problems that are keeping you up at night. What are you thinking about these days? Well, I, I, I have quite a good sleep, so, you know, like, I, uh, nothing really keeps me so far, fingers crossed, you know, like, up at night. Uh, but the things, you know, like, I, I, I use uh, my, my team and I and my colleagues spend most time on is, is thinking of, of how we make sure we accelerate uh, the, uh, uh, delivering our strategy, which means modernizing, modernizing BT, modernizing the group, making things significantly easier for our customers and, and for our colleagues. Um, and, and creating value for, for, for our business. So the modernization is, is, is a huge, important pillar uh, for BT Group, and you play a very significant role in that. Um, the other thing uh, that uh, uh, we, we, we are thinking about and, and, and focusing a lot about is, uh, in addition to modernizing, how can we uh, strengthening our core business and, and then build on it, you know, like for new revenue streams. So digital is not just here to modernize, digital is also here to making sure we create new revenue streams uh, uh, through platform thinking, uh, 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 utilizing, you know, like AI, Gen AI, uh, uh, using data in AI, you know, like uh, for monetization and, and, and looking at adjacencies, you know, like the, for example, in, in healthcare, drones uh, uh, and, 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 and other areas uh, for which we have uh, um, uh, set up a special unit called etc. Uh, the other stuff. Uh, so, so yes, that's that's kind of what's going on. Well, that's hugely interesting. So, modernizing and monetization coming together, yeah. and it, it's a big role to kind of expand what you're doing at BT Group. And you mentioned it because we can't, we have to talk about it. Yeah. Generative AI. Where do you really see that playing a role from both an efficiency perspective and a monetization perspective? How are you viewing that at BT Group? Well, so I think well, the way the way the way we see that is is I think in BT, not just in BT in general, I think we're at a tipping point for for an AI an AI transformation, um, and and we're thinking a lot and, and, and very hard of it. I mean, we're already using you know like uh, some of the some of the tools um, uh, uh, to uh, uh, and test and, 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 and try things already, and we're deploying already some of the some of the uh, uh, capabilities, the AI capabilities in work we do. Um, and uh, we're working actually very closely with, with you guys to create use cases in the next couple of weeks uh, where our executive committee is going to get together and, and, and review, you know, like what we, what we, what we can do. Um, we, but we, we, we're using it to modernize at the moment. You know, for example, we're using already AI uh, and, and deep learning in our network division where we actually roll out a fiber network in the UK. It's actually the largest infrastructure project in the United Kingdom at the moment. That's tremendous. You're using, uh, you're rolling, out, rolling out fiber and uh, we are saving tens of millions of pounds by using actually AI and deep understanding of uh, geographical information, bringing it together with health and safety information so we can make sure we optimize how our engineers uh, where they're being sent to and, and, and uh, uh, optimize actually the work we're doing. Uh, that's one. The other one is, is actually matching capabilities. So where we have where, where we have customers have issues to resolve to match them with the right capability in BT that could be to the right call center agent or any anything else really, um, uh, which again you know like brings much better experience for both our customers and our colleagues, but also is of much more cost efficient. Um, so you don't even almost build a business case. It's so obvious you know like the benefits that that, that AI and, and, and Gen AI can bring. Um, and we need to ask ourselves, you know, like, and we're quite at the beginning in general, we need to ask ourselves, you know, like, um, and take a step back with the involvement of Gen AI and, 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 and other tools in that, in that area. Um, how do we actually need operations? You know, like, do we need to have a zero ops approach, you know, like in general? Um, 
uh, design, engineering, you know, like these are all capabilities we need to think, you know, like uh, very different. Uh, they will have a huge impact on our, on our operating room. But we also need to think through of the human aspect, you know, like in terms of, uh, which we're doing quite a bit in BT to think about, well, how will this impact, you know, like uh, uh, our, our, uh, our colleagues, you know, like how we'll make it life better for our colleagues, but also those um, that might be, you know, like not, not uh, uh, a part of the, uh, um, or whose roles will disappear. How can we reskill them? How can we actually use their knowledge, you know, like yeah. in, the, in the future? Um, so we, we, we're putting a lot of effort also in, in, in what we call the digital campus. We've created a, um, a digital campus that helps people uh, uh, to being reskilled, you know, like and, and deploy their skills for the future. Well, that's, that's pretty interesting too. So it's being able to use AI in the network and help you there. Yeah. It's reskilling people because we still need people. Absolutely. We still need to, need to be able to drive the business and really put some of those thought processes to work. And this is a big transformation. It is a big modernization. How are you thinking about incubating that and where are other ideas coming from within or out from outside your company? Um, let me actually, you know, give you one example to, to you know, like reskilling. So, so, you know, like because I think there's quite a, a good example. We are working with our call center uh, agent population, and actually, uh, we're quite successful. Have already reskilled, you know, like people there um, to, to now code applications that what? help us actually automate. Um, uh, automate for uh, uh, for call center work. We are, who better to code? for customers, the people that work with customers day in, day out. So it's not just, you know, like, it's not just doom and gloom that it replaces all of us, you know, like at some point, you know, like, you, you're absolutely right. There are, there, people are needed, you know, jobs. We just need to think a little bit different and be open to, let's learn something new. And I think that comes also a little bit how we deploy, you know, like, it's not, you know, like, it's a, it's not a mature technology, you know, like we, we're all learning and I think that's how we also need to approach it, you know, like uh, we need to, we need to, Take things, test them, try them, learn from it, learn from the mistakes, and then and then iterate. And that's where you know, like a partnership with, with you, for example, comes in because that's what we do together. Well, and we've had a strong partnership because it starts at the base. You have to have data. You have to be able to democratize that data and really make it usable. Yeah. So we've done quite a bit together, and we continue to build on that relationship. Are there any particular areas that stand out for you, or? You can I mean, pick up. the thing, the work we're doing, you know. So, so first of all, you you are absolutely integral to our modernization uh, uh, efforts and 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 core to, to executing our strategy. Uh, 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 GCP, Google Cloud Platform, is is at the heart of of, of how we transform our our, uh, our whole thinking about about data and and, and the monetization. Uh, we already deploying Flutter, you know, like which in in our in our in our consumer in consumer area. Um, we're now starting thinking and working much closer on, on like I said already, uh, uh, use cases for um, um, uh, data and AI, uh, uh, sorry, AI and, and, and Gen AI uh, deployment, uh, which in the next couple of weeks, you know, like, like I said, the, the executive committee from BT will come together and have a conversation about it. Um, and so you, you are a, a very important partner for us. Um, and, and so we're not just looking, working with you on how you can help us to modernize BT, but also how can we create joint value. So we're having discussions about joint go-to-market uh, 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 opportunities in the security space and in other areas. So you're working also with our, with our um, uh, sales and marketing organizations uh, in, 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 in our consumer area, in our B2B area, in how can we ex expand the region. I'm super excited about it because it makes it truly a 360 partnership and relationship and, 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 and I think you guys are a, a fantastic partner. Well, we're excited about it too and we really appreciate the partnership and the work that we've done in the past and are ready to move to the future. Thomas, thank you very much. We really appreciate the partnership and thanks for being here. And that's it for now for Google Cloud Innovators and in Telecommunications.